Hi everybody, this is Bob Tremblay, Superintendent of Schools. I hope you're doing well. Hope this message is finding you and your families doing well. I wanted to check in with you all uh, as we come into our last week of the 2019-2020 school year. Believe it or not, the last week has arrived. Uh, it doesn't feel like a typical end of the school year, that's for sure. I wanted to just give everyone an update, a little bit of a sense of what's going on and what our thinking is going forward. Um, so we have a back to school task force that's been meeting uh, and has come up with some preliminary plans for a return to school for next year. I'm sure that's the question on everybody's mind. And uh, for right now, uh, we, we're waiting on guidance from the Massachusetts Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. And it's not just Framingham, every school in the Commonwealth is, is waiting on that guidance to come, which will give us some uh, really prescriptive direction for the coming school year. Uh, what I anticipate at this point is we'll probably have recommendations from the department that suggest a hybrid model, some sort of combination of remote and um, an in-person experience to start the school year, though I'm not exactly sure how that will look yet. And so I'm sure there's a lot of you wondering, well, I need to make plans for next school year. How is school going to be looking for us? We need to plan. Well, we all need to be uh, planning <laughs> and we're all in the same place, unfortunately. Uh, we hope to have some guidance from the department uh, really over the next few weeks with preliminary guidance uh, possibly coming as early as next week. And again, just to bear in mind that the guidance that comes at this point is based on the current health conditions, the recommendations that come from the Massachusetts Department of Public Health. Um, but to be sure, we've, we've contemplated some school plans as to how we can return uh, in some kind of a, of a mix of uh, in-person and, um, and remote learning experience. So. We'll be rolling out uh, some plans for that in the next week or so, um, which I'll share. I'm going to host a webinar for families, so there could be questions that can be raised, and we'll have a draft plan that we plan to, uh, to issue. So I don't have a lot of answers for this particular video today, but I am looking to collect some information from you. Um, I'm interested to know from families, uh, and this is not a committal kind of response, but it's just a baseline response. There'll be a survey that accompanies this message today. Uh, asking whether or not you would intend uh, to send your child to school uh, if schools were to reopen in some fully opened, reopened version like school used to be, so to speak, or if school was in a hybrid model, and uh, if you're eligible for transportation, whether, whether or not you would actually take advantage of, of bus transportation. Again, all this is going to be provisional because we don't know exactly what the requirements will be. We assume there'll be some requirement of face coverings for certain students of certain ages, and uh, obviously social distancing, which is uh, going to be maybe difficult to achieve on a school bus, as you can imagine, never mind in our school. So we have, we have some uh, ideas on how to maybe minimize our population of students on some scheduling ideas. Um, but once again, we're not ready to roll any of that out in Framingham or in any other community for that matter until we have the direction from the state, which we understand to be uh, less of sort of guidance and more around requirements. Uh, that we expect to see forthcoming. So more to come on that. I just wanted to check in with everybody to let you know that we are thinking of this. It's not like we've um, not been planning for the coming school year. We're just waiting on more information, but I don't want to keep people waiting into this last week of the school year without at least having some communication from me directly. So that's where things stand. Just to recap real quick, we're waiting on guidance from the DESC to tell us uh, sort of a prescriptive approach to what education um, will look like going forward. Uh, there will probably be some latitude in there for schools to plan and so we have our back to school task force that's been working at that and our senior leadership team and our principals uh, and we'll be coming together to, um, to map out those specific plans as they fit in with the state's requirements. Uh, and again, we're looking to have something preliminarily from the state probably in the next week or two uh, and then we'll get that out information out to families, uh, even if it's in just in draft form with subject to change, because things could look obviously differently in July or in August, uh, depending on what happens with uh, the flattening of the curve. So that's the latest update for now. Again, please complete the survey. Give us a sense of whether or not you would be uh, even sending your child back if schools were to open and whether or not if transportation uh, is provided to you whether or not you would actually um, take advantage of that. So we have a sense of what those numbers look like. I hope this is helpful. Again, I hope you're doing well. I hope your family is well. And, uh, and, and thanks for your patience this school year as we've tried to figure out you know, the balance between uh, remote learning and, 
and figuring that out as we go with uh, personal and, and, and uh, professional lives of, of our staff kind of co-mingling. It's been really complicated. I expect if we do go forward in a um, hybrid model for next school year that the kinds of um, uh, online components will, will be likely more structured and probably more consistent across the uh, across the state as, as part of this model. So more to be seen on this, more to come. Just wanted to check in and say hello and let you know what the current thinking is as of today. Hope you're doing well. Once again, take good care. See you soon.